going to show you how to create a WordPress blog in 5 minutes with DigitalOcean, my favorite VPS provider. DigitalOcean is a new player to the field of VPS hosting and with five, it starts at $5 a month and you can get a 512 megabyte RAM and 20 gig SSD hard drive, one CPU and one terabyte of transfer per month. So with $5, almost anyone can afford it. I'm going to show you how easy it is you can set up a WordPress blog with DigitalOcean. So if you haven't signed up already, I encourage you to sign up via the link on the description of this video. Then you'll get a $10 credit when you do that. So I assume you signed up and logged in. This is what you will see. So as you can see, it has a very, uh, it has a very very simple UI where you can immediately see immediately see where you need to go to do stuff. So what we need to do is to create a droplet. A droplet is DigitalOcean's terminology for a server. So this server will be 100% private, and you can actually go inside the server and install applications on it. So let's click on create droplet over here you'll be sent to this screen where you can enter information about your droplet so for us we're just going to do WordPress test as our host name and then for WordPress we need a minimum of the $10 a month level droplet so go ahead and select that and then the region as you can see DigitalOcean has many regions around the world where you can start the server. So if your customers are mostly in the United States, I will pick New York or San Fran. And then, so based on your location and your customer's location, you can pick your region. For me, I'll just pick New York 3. And now the interesting part about DigitalOcean is, unlike other um, VPS hosting, where they install a flavor of Linux to your machine and that's it. For DigitalOcean, they actually install applications to your droplet. And there you can uh, pick applications pre-installed and it will automatically install everything the application needs for you. And you can focus on doing what you need to do instead of setting them up. So for us, we'll pick a Ubuntu flav flavor installation and then under applications, we need to pick WordPress 14.04. So this will install WordPress and all of its database, server, everything will be on that droplet when you start it. So here are some extra settings if you want. For now, I'm not going to pick any of these. And DigitalOcean also allows SSH keys for you. So this will add a layer of security. So go ahead and click on create droplet. And now we just have to wait a few seconds for the droplet to start. So while it's creating the droplet, let's go over DigitalOcean's website. One of the biggest selling points for me is the community. DigitalOcean provides a wealth amount of tutorials on their website where you can go there um, to configure, to troubleshoot, or to learn about how to do server administration. So this, these are geared towards a bit of experienced developers. So if you're new to this, don't worry about it, but it would be nice to go here to learn about how the server works. And this, for me, I've been a DigitalOcean customer for almost two years now, and their server are always up, and the support is awesome. So I highly recommend them as your VPS provider. I was able to run a website with over 2,500 concurrent users on a single $5 droplet. That's right, $5. Provided that I follow the tutorial on their website to optimize my server. So it's the potential is very large if you want to use it for anything. So we'll give it a few minutes to finish and I'll be back So after a minute, your computer should show this screen. This means the droplet is now active and on the internet. 
So for WordPress, all we have to do is SSH into the server and it will automatically activate the WordPress installation. So if you go to this IP right now, it will say please log into your droplet via SSH to enable your WordPress installation. So an email should be sent to your email address with the password to your droplet. So if you are on a Mac or Linux, you can SSH into it by opening up the terminal and do SSH root at this IP address. And then here we want to say yes. So this means it's adding the IP address to your uh, server of a list of known hosts. So don't worry about it if you don't know what this means. Now you need to enter the password that's being sent to you on to your email address. So I'm going to type my password in. It won't show you on the terminal for security purposes. So once you enter your password, the first thing it will ask you is to enter the current password, which is the password we just enter now. We just need to enter again. This is the process where it will reset the password to something you choose instead of what DigitalOcean has chosen for you. Now you enter your password twice and done. So that's all it takes and now if you go to this IP address and refresh it, you should see the WordPress installation screen. So now you can do the basic you know, my website and then this will be very quick and painless process to set up your website. So if you're familiar with WordPress, this should be very familiar to you. Now if you go to your website, there it is. So that whole process takes less than five minutes to create. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please sign up using, using my link on the bottom of the description and the article and you'll get $10 credit to DigitalOcean.